In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design and assemble these custom juice pouch labels for your next event. Also, be sure to check out our chip bag and water label template. I'll link the card above the arrow. This tutorial will be using my Canva templates that I have designed. If you haven't grabbed it already, I'll leave the link in the description box below. And after purchase, you will be able to download this PDF file that contains links to an editable Canva template. And you'll be able to access that by either clicking on this little internet icon, or you can also access these tutorials by clicking on this YouTube icon. The template will come with pre-sized shapes for you to change the color and drag your graphics on top of and pre-sized photo grids for you to drag and drop photos inside of. And in order to turn on the invisible grids, you're just going to go to file and then click show grids to turn the grids on and off. To get started, I'm just going to pick a pattern or a backdrop that corresponds with the theme that I'm going for. I'm just going to rotate it and then drag and drop it into those photo grids. After you can add some extra elements and graphics either through the pre-made elements or you can upload your own just to give your design some added dimension. And once I find something that I like and it goes with the theme, I'm just going to play around with the color based on the suggested colors and the transparency. After that, then you're going to add your characters or your graphics that go with your theme. You can find these off of Google or Etsy. I like to use PNGs and a PNG file will be a file that has a transparent background and you'll be able to tell by this checkered background as you see here. And then you can just upload your photos and your graphics. You may even want to find the logo of the brand that you are using and add that as well just to give it a little something extra. Then we're gonna go into elements and we're gonna click lines and shapes and you're going to find a shape that you like best to lay on top of the design because our text in the next step is going to sit on top of the shape. Then you can just play around with the colors, the sizing, the shape, and lay it in the middle of your design. Once that's done, you're going to grab one of your themed graphics. I like to find something um, that will work well to sit on top of that shape that we just laid down and then just resize and adjust it to fit. Now using the text feature, I'm just going to select a pre-made font combination and then type out what you want it to say. And then afterwards you can resize it and choose what color you'd like it to be. And then I also like to add an effect like a drop shadow. So I'll add a drop shadow and then just play around with the offset and the color and the transparency.
Once your design is complete, you're just going to click download and then you're going to select your file to be either a JPEG or a PDF. And then afterwards, you're going to unselect all pages and select only the page with your design and click download. For the assembly, you'll need your printed design, juice pouch of choice, scissors or a paper cutter like this one, and a hole puncher. So now you're just going to cut all of the white off, either with scissors or a paper cutter. I like to use this specific paper cutter just so I get a nice, clean, even edge. And you're going to divide up all of the labels. So to get started, you're going to detach the straw and then you're going to use your thumbs and push all of the juice up the bottom of the pouch to the middle and try to flatten out the pouch as best as possible. Pushing the juice up from the bottom and flattening it out as best as possible is really going to be the key to the success here. Next, you're going to hold the label up to where you think that you're going to lay it on the pouch and then you're going to see where the hole is for the straw and then you're going to take your hole puncher and punch the hole in the label. What I like to do is use the words and the letters on the logo to help me visualize where the hole is going to go. And then next you're going to pull the backing off of the adhesive paper. I'll leave a link in the description box below of the paper that I like to use. This next step is super important for it to get to lay on straight. So what you're going to do is use the hole for the straw and line it up. Use one hand to hold the label up like a hot dog bun and then the other hand to smooth down from the straw hole to the bottom just in the middle. So right now you're just applying pressure in the middle of the label where it's the flattest. After you're going to very gently and very carefully let go of those two sides and flip the pouch and lay it straight down in the middle. This is where it can get a little tricky because we're working with a curved surface. So you're going to push the liquid from the middle to each side and use your thumbs to smooth and flatten out that seam on the pouch. And then you're just gonna repeat to the other side, fixing any air bubbles, and you're gonna start in the middle since it's already adhered to the pouch there and just roll the liquid with your fingers. And then once it's complete, it'll look something like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and do one more to demonstrate what I previously just explained so that you can watch it again. So the key takeaway here is to use one hand to hold the sides hot dog style while using the other hand to adhere it to the middle. And then you're going to pick the pouch up and flip it straight down and then use your hands from the middle to push the liquid side to side. And while you're doing this, you just want to straighten any of the air bubbles out on the sides and on the bottom to keep everything as straight as possible. Then after it's complete, you're just going to take the straw. I use double-sided tape. You can use hot glue or regular tape, and then you can just attach it to the back. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.